Hello! Now we continue with the series of videos which was made according to request of our subscribers and in the recent videos we talked about ability to send data from one task to another. In the previous video we talked about Q, the line of uh, variables which uh, can be transmitted in FIFO fashion uh, from one task to another and the queue mostly used to copy uh, variables um, which are small in memory size. In this video we are talking about ring buffers which are preferable when transmitting a uh, large chunks of data from one task to another. So our main purpose in this video to have a variable, just imagine that this is a very, very big chunk of data and we will transmit the size of the data and uh, the reference of the data. So the data is transmitted by a reference uh, and not like in queue by copy. Okay, uh, we as always start from the official reference of the expressive side where they uh, referencing to ring uh, buffers and uh, they have uh, uh, code examples which are not uh, uh, fully functional code but uh, snippets. Uh, the code that we are uh, using uh, simplified code, the most simple code that can be written, I think, uh, is uh, saved in the GitHub, in the ring buffers, the SPIDF, here. And uh, uh, the co uh, I will run it in parallel. So what we basically have is a basic uh, definition of uh, free autos and, and the ring buffer include. We have two task, two task handlers definition of the tasks that which, which will send data and the task which will receive the data and the ring buffer handler. The, the task that is sending the data will have a string data one for example and uh, oh sorry i didn't connect my esp let's try it now okay and uh, uh, the task that will send the data and here ring buffer send we where we define the handler ring buffer the item itself and the size that we that must be safe in the in the memory. Uh, here we have a, a time which of 100 milliseconds that the function should wait in order to to accomplish this task. If it be longer than that, so it will quit. And we will print send uh, what we are sending here and go to the infinite loop in order to remain the task. And you see the data was sent, data one was sent, and this is this uh, 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 statement. In the received data, we have the size of the data and the pointer to of the to the data, which is uh, filled by ring buffer receive. Uh, we receiving the item, this is the data itself, and the size here, the size of the, uh, of the variable. Uh, remember that a ring buffer is uh, designed to transform a large, stocks, uh, large chunks of data, so this manual definition of the data is very important, and go to the infinite loop. The main is uh, very straightforward. Uh, we create the ring buffer, create first task, wait uh, to, for this task to complete, just to simplify, and uh, we create uh, the second task, which will receive the data and wait to complete the task. So we have the first and the second task performed by the 
by the uh, ring buffer uh, uh, ring buffer uh, methodology thank you